Um, so why would this one be called that? Oh my goodness, a D6 to me. Um, because they've added a six. Okay, so what would the notes just be in an open D tuning? Well, D, F sharp, A. Right. So to be in any open tuning, if it's a if it's a normal chord, you just have to tune all the strings so that they're one of the three notes of the chord. Right. Right. And that's the way. If, if something's called open G or open E or anything like that, it's it's pretty straightforward. You're just going to retune all the strings that are not already part of that chord. Right. Yeah. And a really interesting way to think about it for like a G tuning is if you think about what a, a G chord looks like this. Well, these three strings are the ones you have to retune. Yeah. So, so you're going to leave three open ones in there. And on a, what, a D tuning is really similar to an E tuning. And if we're going to go to that, we have to retune these strings. But we'd have to bring them up anyway. That's the end of that story. Thing. It's not a good thing. But in this, so, so for an open D, we'd have to have everything to D, F sharp, or A. And what would the sixth be, though, if we're going to call it D6? Oh, a B. B. So, so this is just an open D tuning without okay. retuning the B string to A. So, in other words, if, if we're going into full open D, we'd have to take this down to A. Right. Instead, we've left it at B. So it's D6. So that's, that's why D6 is a good name for this. Awesome. Pretty simple, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, let me hear you just do this. You know, I would at the very beginning still start with the the syncopated, the the. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So even though I've got this written like this, where the first measure would be. It's not really. It's it doesn't have to go that way. You can play it the same way that you. Yeah. yeah. And so it kind of goes the same way as this. Yeah, yeah. So we've got harmony going on here with the right, right two melodies happening at the same time, right? And like here. Yeah, there's no way to do that. Shoot. Um, this note continuing to ring while these ones go on is a little. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, because again, if, if we we're playing this, if two, two different people, or if two instruments were playing this, they could only play one note at a time. We couldn't have a note r keep ringing. Like that is cleaner than this. Because this note is still ringing, it's still muddying up a little bit. And that's, that's where I'm suggesting taking it off completely and just, just make it three, um, you know, three separate pairs of notes. And then hit that one again, and then put the other one back on again. Yeah. Yeah. Let me um, let me play it kind of how I try it a little bit unconsciously and see what I, see what I do in there. Okay. So I'm putting these down together, and then you're not. And then I'm that. taking them off. Yeah, you want a pencil or, or red or blue or what? 